Okay. Well, I am, well, not exactly clean yet, but uh, I think the shop is in working order. I've got most of the tools that I need, and unfortunately I had to start paying rent. So before I geek out completely on the shop, I have to start making something that's uh, worth selling. So I am making a butcher block uh, kitchen table. It's going to be butcher block, and then it's going to be edged um, in cherry. It's also going to have cherry struts or supports going through the middle, as long as the sides. It has um, using reclaimed barn um, oak as the legs. It's going to have four post legs that are center based. And then it's also going to have oak um, feet that just go out to the side to give it stability. And then I, I wanted to be a little adventurous, so I'm going to do some cherry inlays on the legs, uh, as, well, as well as some decorative work on the sides, and I'm going to do an inlay on the tabletop. So I don't know how well everyone can see the design. Um, I'll show you the whole piece, but here are the shapes you're looking for. Um, it's what I used to make the design. Uh, I wish you could see it better. Um, obviously, once I start to cut it out, you guys will see the full pattern. And then it continues on down the rest of the table. So, yeah, I think it's a, a cute look. It's going to be a nice little, like, breakfast-y kind of table. It seats, uh, it's about 60 inches long, 30, 33 across. I mean, by no means is it a dining room table, but I think it'd be a very comfortable kitchen table. It would comfortably seat six. Um, and, uh, you know, I actually got this... Uh, as a reclaimed table, uh, someone at the same place I got the barn wood didn't want their kitchen table, so I'm like, oh, I'll take it. And then I stripped the color off of it, and I got this really, like, rustic, you know, I wouldn't want to say dirty, but aged-looking wood out of it. And I'm almost hesitant to get rid of all these nice, like, you know, all the, the grooves, all this color of the aging, uh, it, I think it would be a shame to strip it down to just wood, because then you lose all of the, like, yeah, people pay big money for distressed wood. So, I think I'm going to leave it like this, and then when I get the, uh, the oil and poly coat top, I think it's going to look just fantastic. So, keep you posted. Later.